Yeah. So the Amazon does provide the top impression share and the top click share, yeah. but they don't really show you the top ad cut ad rate. Yeah. So what is a reasonable number to expect? Yeah, so when it comes to, yeah. So the add to cart, I mean, I would say a good com uh, conversion add to cart on a healthy keyword, it could be around the 15, 20% mark. Like 15, 20% mark is very good uh, add to cart standard. Again, it's also going to depend uh, on the on the product because let's say I, I, I take the example of a product such as let me think a product that people will compare a lot. Um, yeah, a phone case is a good example. Like when people shopping for phone cases, and I do this all the time, when a new phone comes up and I want to buy a phone case, what is the first thing I do? I add a ton of phone cases to my add to car, right? Then I check the prices and then based on the design, I make the decision, right? So in categories like that, add to car is very bad because people add him. Sorry, opposite. Add to car is very high because a lot of people add to car, but when it comes to the purchase, it's very low, right? So that's a completely different scenario than maybe a other cases where people add to car and make a purchase, such as I don't know, let's say you wanna buy um yeah, you wanna buy a water bottle, something that's very cheap. Usually you add to car and you buy, right? So that's why you need to be mindful because I wouldn't say it's a one-to-one -one comparison, it's also gonna come down to the type of product, yeah. You know? Yeah. So, I mean, the sad reality is there isn't much you can do to influence, you know, add to cart to purchase. It's just the nature of the beast, right? Yeah. So the thing that you can do, uh, and this is something that actually Amazon just released. Okay. So if you go, for example, to your Amazon account, right? And then within your Amazon account, there's a new thing uh, that basically allow you to in, interact with um, with your customer. You're gonna go to brand and then you're gonna go to something called um, customer engagement. If uh, Yeah, brand and then you go to customer engagement. In there, uh, this thing basically um, is not something that is available to all, all brands. So it, it's something more in, in beta right now. But basically what you can do with this, it now allow you to retarget a, what we call um, add to cards. So basically Amazon tells you, okay, you have 10,000 people that are on their add to card, right? Uh, with this basically um, 10,000 um, people that are in add to card, like uh, I want to target them with a 10% um, um, yeah, with a, with a 10 coupon, right? And basically, you you could retarget them, and then that could potentially lift um, the the purchases because basically Amazon is allowing you to retarget with a coupon. It could be 10, 50 percent. Usually, we do like a 15, 20 percent, and you can retarget them. And basically, once you retarget them, it allows you to to basically convert people that just have the product sitting there. Basically, they have it seated in on 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 their abandoned cards. And and you and, and and basically you can convert them. Just to clarify, I just check this to make sure you find it. You're gonna go to advertising and then you're gonna go to brand tailor promotion. That's where the promotion is gonna be. Amazon allows you to now retarget people that a uh, is has uh, a bundle cards. It tells you how many people add the pro to car hasn't purchased, potential new customers, a uh, repeated customers, and all different segmentations they do. But the one you want to leverage, going back to Nick's question, is the card abandoned uh, purchases. For example, I had a client that he had, I mean, this was crazy. He had around <laughs> like 30,000, 30,000 abandoned cards, right? 30,000 abandoned cards in, in the last 90 days. What we did is we say, okay, let's blast a 15% coupon across the board. 30,000 and now this are out of this 30,000 around 10 uh, around 10% converted 8 10% so around 3,000 people 
Imagine having 3,000 sales out of nowhere just because you're basically retargeting with a coupon, right? So that's a, a, something you can do to uh, affect the abandoned car because now Amazon with this new feature called um, the tailored promotions within the advertising tab allow you to retarget abandoned cars. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is a great tip, Vincenzo, because um, I did not know this. I have to admit. Yeah. I, uh, I, it's and new. I'm it's, it's relatively new. With with yeah. Amazon, you never know everything, so it's impossible. And uh, but this uh, is, and as we are talking, I'm looking at it that you have two different ways to target these people who add to their. Yeah. You have either just solely people who add to their cart, and yeah. then also you have another campaign type that says, so anybody who clicked on your storefront, clicked on your listing, That's or right. added yeah. to cart, you can go so deep. And, yeah, and yeah. yeah, you can also go back to them with a promotion. This is a yeah. great tip and it's a must. So I was thinking always, how do you do this? Uh, but <laughs> you have to qualify. You know, you have to qualify. To, they they have many other campaigns. We're not going to get into it now. Yeah, this course. may be well worth just another episode just to use how to, yeah. uh, how, how to use the tailored campaigns. But uh, it's a great tip. So that's how you improve your add to cart to purchase that's rate. Right. That's the next stage, right? So add to yeah. cart, that becomes a purchase. So um, you are not able to see those rates from the highest performers, but what yeah. you can see is when you click on the keyword, yeah, then it shows you all the other listings That's that come up under that keyword. That's correct. And then you can see their price. You can see everything. The average. So and you can see the a, average. Yeah. yeah. It's a, extremely valuable. So uh, this is a this is great piece of information. And, uh, and, and, you know, first of all, you and I can go on forever. And second, yeah, no, this, very this, performance. This, it never yeah. ends. And by the way, we haven't even started on yeah. combining Scratching the, the service. Yeah. Search term impression share report. Do you combine that report with this? Yeah, of course. I mean, you combine it with this. You can even combine it with uh, data from other tools as well and uh, interpolate and make a decision. Like this could this could go as complicated as you want. Like this is just the beginning and you can go very complex. And at the end of the day, the more complex you go, you find very unique insights that can give you the edge on Amazon. So I will say, you know, spend some time with uh, the search query performance because you'll be surprised about how many things. I mean, we use it for listing optimization. We use it for PPC optimization. We use it for product launch. We use it for understanding how good our images are converting because we compare one week after changing name to the next week. I mean, there are so many things you can do. And I feel people just, uh, you know, it's not utilizing the tool properly. So spend some time because can completely change your business. I mean, it's doing for a client, so definitely you should do the same, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, great uh, conversation.